Hi, one of the viewers sent me an email saying that he has a laptop X and he want me to make a demonstration video on how to make a 3D scan of a thin object like this one for example. This troll is very thin, about 1mm in the thickness, thin and shallow. And also I make a second example with this uh, cooling block for the graphic card. It's not that thin but it has a flat profile, so it's flat. So I will start with the, the troll first. Okay, you probably have seen me uh, scan this part in my previous video, uh, a thin shell uh, object, but it has a deep profile very deep. So when I make a 3D scan of a part like this, I will scan with the global marker first, get all of the uh, markers registered, uh, both the inner shell and the outer shell. So uh, because the part is uh, has some depth, I'm going to find an angle where the 3D scanner can see markers on both sides here. The outer shell, the scanner can see this and it also can see this uh, markers here. So I can transit from um, inner shell to the outer shell like this and continue to scan the other side so I don't have to merge this part this part is very difficult to merge this has a thin shell if you scan it uh, by scanning the top part scanning the top part uh, flip over scan the yeah the other side and uh, there's a, a really low chance that you can merge it because the scanner cannot see the, the overlap area if you scan the top side it won't see any uh, surface on the bottom side vice versa if you scan the bottom side the scanner won't see um, overlap area on the top side and if I want to do the same with the trial I can see a tree markers slowly uh, it will only see the marker on this side but not both so there is no angle that I can transit from one side to the other because the profile is very uh, shallow and if I place it on the table like this I make a 3D scan of the top side and then I flip it over scan the bottom side um, the chance that I wouldn't be able to uh, merge this part uh, because the, when I scan one side, uh, there is no overlap area that the 3D scanner can see because it's under underneath this part. If you find a part like this and you want to make a complete scan on both sides, uh, you need to put it in this orientation. So I will use a, a wise clip to hold it. Like so. And place it on the table like this. When you track this part, when you turn it into the point where it's going to turn to the other side, it's going to lose the track. So you need to place the marker uh, on the table so that the scanner can track. So when you turn, it's going to track this marker, the small one. And for the convenience, I'm going to add uh, these uh, markers on the edge of the turntable because the, um, the scanner can also detect all this target. So I do like this. When the scanner is turning to this side, it's going to see a lot of markers. So it doesn't care if this is laser thin object, it's going to be able to track this no matter what you do. So before starting, make sure that if your object has a flat surface, try to put the marker onto the object directly like this one. You will get a better scan quality if you apply the markers on the face of the object. If you have some curvature like this handle, I'll try to use the smaller markers, the 6mm on the curved surface because you cannot bend it. If you bend the marker, uh, it's going to give the wrong position of the surface. Okay, this is correctly scan 4. I'm gonna set the resolution to 0.25. It's a proper uh, resolution for this size of the object. I'm gonna use the parallel lines because object size is not big. Okay, let's me let's on the preview. Okay, let's scan the markers. Okay, 
just sort of click on the pie clouds and run OK. And next I'm going to click on here a clip plane a whole shift key and click on the flat markers that I place on the turntable three of them I click on create plane so it will delete um, anything under this plane click on complete okay so next I'm going to um, turn off the markers and hold the shift key and select just the part that I want inward selection delete because i'm going to make a second scan so i can um, delete some of the part here okay done click on check mark next i'm going to make a new scan okay do the same thing uh room marker scanning Click on the pipe cloud, power lines. Okay, so all done. And click on the clipping plane and I select three of the flat markers. Create plane. Click on complete. Okay, let's um, turn off this whole shift key. Select the part, inward selection, click on delete. Okay, next I'm going to uh, fill supply cloud. So we have two pi clouds here. First scan and a second scan. Click on Fusion. I set the resolution to 0.25. This is the intended resolution that I set uh, in the previous screen. Click on OK. Okay, this is the scan. Uh, let's uh, merge it. Click on Process Alignment and click on Align. This will be automatic alignment. Let's try. No, it's not aligned automatically. So I click on the manual and turn it like so. So now it's facing in the same orientation. Okay, click on here. One. And two. And I think it could be somewhere around here. Three. It doesn't have to be exact just the approximation click on align see here now it's aligned perfectly exit okay so now you have a scan complete and if you want to export this one as a point cloud you have to export it one by one uh, start by the scan one click on export and the second scan so this will be the point cloud export that you can use for reverse engineering and uh, if you want to mesh it you can do so by clicking on here meshing because we have about 765,000 points maybe you can use just 1 million faces would be enough I will uh, uncheck the few small holes because there are small holes here uh, I don't want it to be filled uh, click on apply okay here's your mesh complete
and all the markers are removed you can't even see it you can see the faint markers but it's not much mostly of the markers are removed see here ah there's some markers here because it's curved surface the 16mm marker is quite difficult to remove because it's on the curved surface but overall it's a nice and clean uh, scan okay let's move to the next object um, next object a water block is made from a nickel plated on blast so it's quite refractive and I need to uh, spray this object with the developer spray I found that it worked uh, very well uh, with the 3d scanner much better than a dedicated uh, scanning spray so I will use this one and this object has a uh, uh, water flow channels on the scanning face so I cannot apply um, the markers onto the object itself so I have to rely on the uh, external marker and I can place the object like this in the vertical position like the drawer but I'm not going to do that uh, because I cannot apply the marker directly onto the object the 3D scanner will give uh, best result when the markers is parallel to the scanning surface so I place the object in this orientation and I scan on both sides and then I will try to merge it because uh, this object it has uh, some thickness here so I will scan the side wall of this scan and I will use this side wall even though it's very small but the laptop can do this I can use this uh, a thin side wall here for overlapping area and merge them together this will be the best way to get the best result from the from scanning this kind of object uh, you can try uh, putting it upright like this but um, you're not going to get a better result because the number of the markers that you can put on the scanning face is only a few let me uh, spray this part so make sure that you spray all the sidings all four corners and do not touch it do not touch the spray part like this okay click on a new project I choose 0.15 for the resolution I scan the global marker first On the point clouds. Enough. Clipping plane, hold the shift key and select three flat markers. So now it's delete, click on complete. Let me um, invert selection, delete. So let me <laughs> turn off these markers, it's very annoying. Let's move to the next scan. Okay, here's the back side already spray. Let me uh, put it here. Okay, I click on new scan, Google Marker. My clouds.
Okay, it's all done. Uh, clipping plane, uh, flat markers. One, two, and three. Clear plane, check mark, complete. Okay, so we have to scan. Let's fuse it. Okay, next I'm going to uh, align it. I don't think uh, automatic alignment will work because it has a power wall. So what I do is I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it like this. So it has the same alignment. Okay, let's me um let me try to align it. One, hold the shift key. Two, let's say um, three. Okay, now it's aligned. Okay, alignment successfully. Exit. Let me mesh it. We have 1.4 million point. A uh, few small holes. I don't think I want to. Apply. Okay, the matching is done. Let's export the model. Okay, this is the scanning result of the water block. So this uh, fin array is very small. 0 0.2 millimeter. It's still display here. So you can make a complete scan on the front and the back side because it has a relative dimension uh, so that you can reverse it correctly. Okay, so this is a very clean scan. There is no uh, post-processing. We have a sharp edge and the corners. Okay, let's move to the next object. Okay, here's the trial. Nice and clean. All the markers are removed. And the thin side is sharp. Okay, so here's how I scanned a thin part with the lapters. I hope this would be uh, helpful. Okay, uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.